And we've been joined by all our guests now, Tony Kerr, as I said, Simon Averbell and Charlton Heston. And we were talking earlier, as I said, about stress and about leadership. Do you look upon yourself when you're with, say, the two guys in Wham? I mean, they are performers, but are you a leader? No, I try always to be a link. I think the manager's job more than anything is linking. It's, it's being understanding of two completely diverse attitudes and bringing them together. I mean, in, in what I do in management, mm -hmm. you're talking about a sort of rapacious corporation only interested in profits. Yes. And a, and uh, the most extreme, putting the most extremely a delicate artist, and you have to bring those two points of view together and be the centre point. It's, it's not leadership, it's, it's always just... Uh, Certainly managerial skills it are is, different, yeah. aren't they? It's yeah. very yeah, different. But, but we never look upon somebody with consummate managerial skills as a hero. The, the people he manages, it, he may be a hero. <laughs> <laughs> if he does it well. <laughs> well, that's, that's not quite true, because yeah. uh, one often thinks of, of certain diplomats and acts of diplomacy, mm -hmm. and yeah. maybe not heroic, but certainly they're, they're very well thought of. Is it is it maybe not just enough to say, well obviously it's not enough to say that it's, it's just energy. I mean, there are lots of energetic people around who st start... No, but it. extraordinary skills, and I mean other than normal skills. There has to be sli something slightly manic about leaders, whether, they're, whether they're, they're, they come across manically or not. They must have a... Um, Isn't it that quality of focus and ability to, f to sacrifice everything else to one goal? I, I don't think a leader could be very different from a rock star. They, they, they certainly see themselves in the position of leadership. I don't really think that their, um, their reasons for leading are necessarily because they, they care very much about the people they're leading. They like being leaders. I think they certainly have a, a devotion to a given cause. If it's painting the Sistine ceiling, that is finally perceived but as a worthwhile goal. Look at the number, number of leaders who would seem to be, say, excessively right-wing or excessively left-wing, and when they become leaders, they become very moderate because more than anything, they want to be leaders, they want to get everyone behind them, they're not prepared to, to be on one extreme or if the other. If you're speaking of political leadership, that requires inevitably, uh, save in a tyranny, uh, consensus, the achievement in a, in a democracy, which are obviously there are very few democracies. I just, uh, I just have to interrupt for a little moment <laughs> to say goodbye. I, I don't want to stop the conversation. You started this, you know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Next week, because Talk it's, about close, your leadership. it's close to St. Patrick's Day, we're going to have Pam Ayres, Edna O'Brien, Frank Carson, and a special...